I'm a boarding school kid. Junior and senior year of high school, I attended a boarding school. And I went to high school long before the social media craze. There was no Instagram when I went to high school. There was no Twitter when I went to high school. There was no LinkedIn when I went to high school. I went to school in the time of the folded paper notes with do you like me, yes or no, circle one at the bottom. Some of you know very well what I'm talking about. And at my school, we had this unique way of communicating that we cared about someone, that we supported someone, that we valued someone. In our library, in our small boarding school, we had something that was called the Warm Fuzzy Board. Now the Warm Fuzzy Board was just a bulletin board. It was an empty bulletin board and stationed next to the bulletin board was a stack of blank pieces of paper and pens. The idea of the Warm Fuzzy Board is that you were supposed to write an encouraging note to someone that you liked, to someone that you cared about, to someone that you wanted to support. We called it the warm fuzzy board because when you got that indication that someone liked you, that someone cared about you, that someone supported you, you felt all warm and fuzzy on the inside. So we would go to the library every single day and look for a note of encouragement. We would look for a note of affirmation. We would look for a note of support. And here's how you would do it. You would take a piece of paper, you would jot down a note, you would fold the piece of paper in half, you would write a person's name on the folded half, and then you would affix the note to the bulletin board with a push pin. We would go into the library every single day to look at the warm fuzzy board to see if there was a note with our name on it. Now there were some people who got tons of warm fuzzies. There were some people, the board was littered with their names. So many people who liked them, wanted to affirm them, wanted to celebrate them, wanted to get some recognition from them and their names were all over the warm fuzzy board. And then there were some people who would come each and every day and they would look in the morning and they would look in the afternoon. They would look in the evening and there would be no warm fuzzy for them. So many times coming into the library, facing that disappointment, the whole school could see that their name never showed up in the warm fuzzy board. That no one cared to write them a note, that no one cared to write them a few words of affirmation, that no one cared to write them a few words of encouragement. I mean, the warm fuzzy board was a big deal. I remember being in the library one day, talking with my friends about whatever teenagers talk about, and a friend of mine had recently broken up with her boyfriend. Now when she was with her boyfriend, she would come to that warm fuzzy board every single day and find notes with her name on it on a consistent basis. Now since they had broken up, there weren't a lot of notes with her name. And I remember this particular day, she walked over to the warm fuzzy board. She grabbed a note of paper. She scratched down a note. She folded it in half and then she wrote her name on it and affixed it to the bulletin board. She put it on the warm fuzzy board and then she walked out. Then she walked back into the library, grabbed the note from the warm fuzzy board, opened it up, read it to herself with a big smile on her face. It was kind of confusing to us. We asked, why would you write a note to yourself? Isn't that kind of like cheating? I mean, why go through all that trouble to write a note to you? And she looked at us. She looked at us who were sitting there at the table talking. She said, listen, sometimes if nobody else is doing it, you gotta write the note to yourself. Man, all these years after graduating high school, that thing hits so hard right now. As we're in this social media space, we are clamoring. We are clamoring for likes. We are clamoring for support. We are clamoring for comments. We are clamoring for people to share our content. We're looking for someone to affirm us. We're looking for somebody in this digital warm fuzzy board to say that we matter. And it's all because we're simply searching for a warm fuzzy, all because we're simply searching for some affirmation, all because we're simply searching for some support. And here's the thing, even in the moments where you get all the comments, even in the moments where you get all the shares, even in the moments you get all the likes, sometimes you're disappointed because when you look through the comment thread, it has nothing to do with you. It's a tangential conversation that has sprawled off in multiple different directions and it's not brought back attention to the original post and you're still left feeling frustrated because you don't have that warm, fuzzy feeling that you were looking for. But what if the secret was how much you were willing to write a note to yourself? What if the secret was how much you were willing to actually encourage 
yourself. There's like an old piece of ancient wisdom that says the things that you think about, that's the direction that your life goes. Another way of putting it is as a man thinketh, so is he. And what if we had the ability to change the direction of our lives simply based on how much we were willing to actually encourage ourselves? What if the secret to being better? What if the secret to being noteworthy? What if the secret to being an actual trendsetter? What if the secret to being an actual influencer? What if the secret to being a difference maker? What if the secret to being a king maker? What if the secret to having a significant amount of impact lied in how much you were willing to encourage yourself in the most difficult day. I need you to do this. I need you to find some pieces of paper. I need you to find some post-it notes. I need you to find some index cards. I need you to grab a stack of markers and start crafting notes to yourself. Write 52 of them, one for every week of the year. Write notes to remind yourself that you have a mission. Write notes to remind yourself that you have a message to share with the rest of the world. Write notes to remind yourself that you can be a good husband and a good father. Write notes to remind yourself that you can be a good leader. Write notes to remind yourself that you need to put one foot in front of the other when the days are the darkest and the hardest. Write notes to remind yourself that you are valued, that you are loved, that you are respected, that you can make a difference in this life. Write notes to remind yourself if no one else is affirming you, if no one else is supporting you, if no one else is encouraging you, you can reach to your own warm fuzzy board and pull down a message to help you activate the courage to keep going. My friend way back in high school taught me a valuable lesson that day. Some of the most encouraging words that we can find come from our own lips. Death and life are in the power of what we say. So what if we started saying things to ourselves that helped us to keep going. So if I were to challenge you to create your own warm fuzzy board, if I were to challenge you to write some notes of encouragement to yourself, if I were to challenge you to speak words of life in your direction, if I were to challenge you to look in the mirror and tell yourself that you actually matter and that you can make a difference in this world, what would you say to you? What would be found on your warm fuzzy board?